Hello everyone and welcome back to Hard Mode Stock Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. Video from this series is from Twitch live streams, so you'll hear me interacting with the audience and you'll see what they're saying to me over to the right there. In the previous video, I figured out that I didn't have the main new feature for 1.8, Improved Ground Detail Textures, enabled. So in this video, we'll see if the visuals have improved. Uh, with that, on with the original audio. All right, let's see what uh, Kerbal Space Program in all of its glory looks like now. We've got it on high, we've got all the reflections and things that could possibly cause lag. Let's find out. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, we wanted to do the moon stuff. Uh, that's new. Okay, wait. We'll be able to do science from space around the moon. That's fine. We're gonna rescue a Kerbal around Kerbin. We're gonna rescue a Kerbal around the moon. We're going to land on the moon. And plant a flag. And maybe do some temperature surveys. So... I don't know. Maybe maybe we shouldn't use this command pod. What do you think? Maybe we should do two launches and handle them separately and do a rendezvous instead. I mean, what I really want is the better communication, because right now we can't communicate to Mars very well. We need to get all the way up here. But we're going to have to need another... Um, R I, no, we don't need another R&D building upgrade yet. Okay, so advanced electrics we really need. And yeah, I, I think I wanna I wanna get electronics so so that we can go to Duna. Yeah, so I want good comms, so we're gonna unlock this and we'll hold off on the Gemini for now. Let's just rescue that Kerbal around. Let's just keep it simple. No, let's not keep it simple. We'll do a rendezvous. We'll rescue the Kerbal and then we'll rendezvous with that pod. Okay, um... This is overpriced for rescuing him. Yeah, but if I launch two of the same thing, it's simpler. Can't go wrong with Smurf 3. Let's not talk about it wobbling. The Rory's Hulk. That's the one. Still equatorial. I thought they'd make it more challenging for me, but okay. Let's go. Throttle up. SAS on. And launch. I wouldn't say it's boring. It has the benefit of things happening quickly. There are ways in which realism overhaul is boring because things take a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, the shuttle cockpit has four seats. There are different kinds of boredom. I would describe stock as relaxing, not boring. Uh, no, I don't. I don't need challenging like that. I can just go back to realism overhaul if I want challenging. Thank you. I actually had a little rocket rover. I used the Twitch engines way back, way back. Um, the little Twitch engines so that it could uh, hop up every now and again, just in case its wheels couldn't uh, carry it over something. It wasn't meant to uh, use the rocket engines for very long, but. That's a preventative measure from getting stuck. I'm sure everybody's done that sort of thing before. We have communication gaps still, but not big ones. This is a craft meant to land on the moon for heaven's sakes, and we're not even doing that, so... Gonna speed at him at 200 meters per second. Okay, don't rendezvous like this. Under normal circumstances, okay? I have various reasons for wanting to do it this way. One is the calm situation. And the other is I packed 
uh, I just used a craftman for the moon for this Kerbin orbit rescue. So, yeah, well, I didn't want to build a new craft for this Kerbin orbit rescue. We had a rescue craft that was meant to rescue Kerbals from Min Moon or Minmus. And I didn't want to make a new one. New spawnables. I don't know what's new compared to 1.7, to be honest. <laughs> I just got a picture of random creepers spawning on Kerbin. What if, what if there was an actual menace that faces the Kerbals and that's why they wanted to leave? Scout, we haven't really gone close to the ground, so I don't know what the setting has done because we're rescuing a Kerbal. When we land on the moon, maybe it'll show, uh, we'll see some more. I think we should definitely send this Kerbal somewhere though. Maybe we'll have the Kerbal... Land on the moon? It's possible. Should we have the Kerbal land on the moon before actually rescuing? How do they use this fuselage to get here? Uh oh. No communication. Well, good thing I didn't aim directly at it. Okay, Kerbal. You're gonna need to catch up. Okay, that was a bad way to get out of the pod. I'm just saying. In the future, in our space program, you should not do it that way. Okay, now we have Kerbal Control, and Dorori is an engineer. We never get pilots. Okay. Well, you know, we've sort of rescued Dorori. Uh, well, uh, rendezvous of two vessels. Oh, we don't even have to do that anymore because this counts as a rendezvous of two vessels. Okay. Um, I see a uh, planet flag on the moon, but we can't rescue Dottie like this because we don't have a second seat. Gosh darn it. Maybe we'll get another planet flag or another thing to do with Dottie. Okay, so um, we'll have Dorori plant a flag on the moon and do some scientific data, because why not? Oh, near future tech? They've been like taking little steps towards KSP to like it's a transition rather than a big leap. Oh, there's Orion. Okay, so this is the real skybox, because Orion is right in front of us. You know, improving the terrain a little bit and doing all these things. Orion is like the only constellation I can recognize. Here! You can see belt, sword, da 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 da. Very clear. Yeah, that's Beetlejuice. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it must be pronounced some other way, but I never know how to pronounce it. I don't know the other star names. They're all very famous stars, but not good at that sort of thing. Sirius? That so that's Canis Major down there? Or Oh the Dog Star Falls Orion? Okay. But then why is there a brighter star here? Or is that like Jewel or something? I don't know. There shouldn't be a brighter star than Sirius. Sirius, pretty darn sure, is the brightest star in the sky. I can't really tell. I mean, because, no, there's no way that's a planet. So, yeah, here's, here's Orion. There's that. And then there's that other star. It's not a planet. Because otherwise it'd be in the plane of the system and it's not. So we just rescued this Kerbal, but we don't allow rescued Kerbals to come back that easily. So, out to the moon. Let's make sure we're getting solar power. No, I, I think for this, what I want to do is build really gargantuan structures eventually. That's my goal. You can't really build, I mean, you know, you really can't build anything too obnoxious in, Kerbal, in uh, Realism Overhaul. I want to build obnoxious things in orbit around planets. That's, that's what I really want to do. We want to press the, the, much um, god, physics limits of things and get that frame rate down to a nice two. It'll be an elegant gargantuan thing. <laughs> I mean, it'll have a certain kind of elegance, sort of like a Picasso painting. So we need to hit these temperature spots. 
maybe we'll do those three first and then we'll rescue not Lola. Um where's the other Kerbal we have to rescue? No. Dottie. Hmm. And then when we rescue Dottie, we'll grab that one. Play KSP. I started at 0.18. Did we even pack a thermometer? We didn't even pack a thermometer, did we? Okay, skip that. This will land, plant a flag, but no thermometer readings. Dottie will have to do the thermometer readings. We'll pack a. We'll pack a thermometer and not do landings, not configure for landings. That'll give us enough part count. We, we still have a 30 part limit for those wondering why I do the things that I do. It's because we have a 30 part limit for, and that's like limitation number one right now. And I'm going to keep it that way because that, that does make it more interesting. You're wondering, where is the challenge for somebody who's done realism overall? Well, 30 parts is a challenge. Can, uh, no, not in the game without uh, Principia or something, because Minmus is on a... Uh, it's, um... Well, yeah, I mean, well, it depends on what you, how you define move. Any rocket will move Minmus, but not very much. <laughs> yeah. Any rocket will move Minmus, just not a whole lot. It's like, I think somebody asked me, if you took all the oceans of the Earth, and you turn it into hydro hydrolox, hydrogen and oxygen, and you use that to fuel a standard chemical rocket engine, how much could you move the Earth? And I calculated it out and it's about two meters per second. So, <laughs> there you go. You cannot take the oceans of the Earth and try and move the Earth. You're not gonna get very good results. You'll get results! I mean, you know. The yeah, slingshot flybys change over. Yep. Yep. But only a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Everything changes stuff by tiny. Okay, the ground looks actually a lot better. Okay, thank you, Mav Twisher. Thank you. Okay, so, um. Yeah. We'll have to get closer. Good thing we're planning for a landing. Um. Uh, that might be too low. I was aiming for the thermo uh, temperature readings, but because those, those have to be at 8 kilometers or so. Uh, if we're gonna land on this side, we don't want to be that low on that side. We want to be low on this side. First burn for landing is always a burn that barely gets your periapsis grazing the surface, but well away from the landing site. This might be a little bit too close, though. Uh, that's because that's a little bit high there. We'll see. That lip at the edge of this crater, this, this bit here seems a bit high. Then again, we seem to be going down that trench. That might be interesting. Very ominous music though. This canyon should be a biome all on its own. I don't know if it is though. Anybody know if... I mean, that's a special, special place as far as I'm concerned. Moon's Canyons. There should be a thing like that. You think it is? Hmm. I mean, hold on. If it is... We should be able to see it. It just says Highlands. Well, I'll risk one more. Canyons, okay, there we go. Or maybe over there, that doesn't look- I mean, I don't think we can stop in time for this one, but that over there looks fine. Moon is scary? Tylo is scary. <laughs> Tylo, Tylo. Tylo is scary. Important to remember we still we have the spark engine and not the not the terrier. This is a steeper 
place than I thought it would be. But it does look a lot better than before. So, my fault for not having the right settings. How are we ever going to find the special rocks with all these little rocks though? <laughs> I mean, we, we don't have to find a special rock this time, but... Saying for the future. Okay. I could have done that. Well, let's take data. Or... Oh, we can take surface samples now. Right. We can take our first surface sample of the moon, finally. Oh, Midland Craters we've done before. Well, we haven't done a surface sample. Okay. The Rory at the Midland Craters. You call this a rescue? Yes. This is how Kerbals get rescued. They have to go to the moon first. No, you went too high. Gosh darn you, Rory. Get that backpack back on. Okay. Grab! Oh. All right. Now you can come home. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. There's no nothing that's going to make it easy to move the whole earth. Except like, you know, if you could temporarily turn off the sun and get all the hydrogen <laughs> or some some nonsense like that and make a nerva out of it. There's Orion again. Now now that I see Orion, I'm never going to stop seeing Orion. I don't know what that that spot over there is, but Orion's right there. Orion rising. Okay, we are departing the moon in full cinematic splendor. It's like we have tossed the moon into the Milky Way. <laughs> Dorori should be pleased. He's the first engineer we've sent into space. Well, sent is a strong word. First engineer that has been in space in this program. NASA also only liked pilots for quite a long time. But then, that is a false thing because the pilots were engineers. They, they generally had engineering degrees, so... It's like, it wasn't like, uh, pilots are one thing and engineers are a different thing. That's what turns you into a smurf? Good to know. Okay, we still have the texture shaking problem over here. 101 science. Okay, let's quickly get the thermometer and get a Kerbal that can handle the thermometer. Alright, let's go. Look at that smoke go! These days, you know, uh, 65 is a new 20. They're all jet skiing and... Trying to forget how old they are. Nowadays, the uh, older people spend all their time posting memes making fun of millennials is what's happening, <laughs> basically. That's, that's the new get off my lawn. Stupid comsat. Oh, it's probably because we don't have an antenna out yet. Gosh darn it. I, I don't think we're gonna make it. Okay. Antenna out. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have enough Delta V to do the job like this. I like how the the orange yellow line does a little wobble when it goes back and forth. It wobble? It does a little, uh, has a little wave in it. Oh, I went away. I don't even think we have enough to, well, we can see. 
I guess we could wait around. Periaps is a bit low though. Oh, electric charge. Ah, yeah, whatever. Definitely time for me to stop this. This is gonna get deorbited. Been back to it. Uh, we lost communication, so I couldn't shut down the engine. That's why we burned past the moon. Uh, we tried to burn back to it because I was trying to see if we could fill the mission and correct the overburn. But anyway, this will be disposed of. Uh, I think I better spare us any more failures, and uh, we will watch Dollar Root do his stream. A minute, okay. Uh, we can take a look at the contracts and the tech tree. Two rogue pieces of debris? Eh, just later on get a debris collection vehicle or something. We've got 116.7. I want the skipper. I hate those engines clustered at the bottom of that stage. We can just replace all of them with the skipper. Um, these are tempting too. Okay, quick poll. Um, advanced flight control for these, or heavy rocketry? Well, it's not the mainsail yet, it's just skipper. Mainsail's down the road. So it's either uh, skipper, basically, and poodle and such, or advanced flight control with RCS and the Mark II command pod. Come on, please tell me there's not just going to be one vote. Contribute to your democracy or lose it, darn it. <laughs> I don't give you votes often, it's mostly a dictatorship around here. So, heavy rocketry. 